In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with the trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent with our calculators. In example A, it says find the trigonometric value using your calculator, round to four decimal places. So all we're doing is just figuring out what these ratios are, and it's really just plugging it into the calculator. The only thing you have to be careful about is that your mode is degrees. So if you're not in degree mode, you might be in something like radians, then you will get the wrong answers because these problems are in degrees. These are the way we're measuring our angles. And in this calculator, you just click on mode and you can see right here that it says degree. Degree is highlighted as opposed to radians, so then we know that we're all set. So once you know you're in the right mode, if we want to figure out sine of 78, all you need to do is type in sine and then 78 and click enter and we get our answer. And in this case, it is to four decimal places, 0 0.9781. Now, one thing you want to notice is your calculator might not work exactly like this one. Some calculators, you have to put the number in first before pushing sine, cosine, or tangent. So if it didn't work when you tried to do sine 78 like this, try doing it the other way around. So for cosine of 60, now we're just going to do cosine 60, enter, and we get 0.5. Remember that 30, 60, 90 triangles have a special pattern. That's why this answer was so nice and neat. And lastly, tan, tangent of 15, and we see that that's approximately 0.26. Seven, nine. All right, let's go to example B. In example B, it says find the value of each variable, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So we have a 22 degree angle right triangle, and we know from the 22 degree angle, B is the opposite side, 30 is the hypotenuse, and A is the adjacent side. So what you always want to do first is label your sides. You might also want to write SOHCAHTOA on your paper so that you'll remember what the ratios are. So first, let's solve for B. So we're going to use the 22 degree angle, B, which is the opposite side, and 30, which is the hypotenuse. So the ratio that deals with opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So we can set up our equation that sine of 22 degrees equals B opposite over 30 hypotenuse. Now we go over to our calculator so it can help us out by telling us what sine of 22 is. And we have 0.3746. So at the end, we'll round to the nearest tenth, but for right now, you should round as little as possible. Now, to solve this, we can multiply both sides by 30 to cancel out that 30. And when we do that, we get 11.238 and rounded to the nearest tenth, that's 11.2. Okay, at this point, to solve for the last side, you have two options. You could use Pythagorean theorem because at this point we know two sides of the triangle. So if you like Pythagorean theorem, you should definitely do that. You can also do trig and you can use different trig ratios because we have more information than we need at this point. If we want to stick with using the 30, we could say, all right, we're going to use the 30 and we're going to use the A, which is adjacent. And again, we're going to use the 22 degree angle. So we're dealing with adjacent and hypotenuse which is cosine. So that means I'm going to need a cosine equation. Cosine of 22 is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's A over 30. Now again, go over my calculator so it can help me out and tell me the cosine of 22. And it's approximately 0.9272. And again, I'm going to multiply both sides by 30 in order to get the A by itself. So I'm going to leave my answer in the calculator over here and just multiply by 30. And I get 27.8.
So A equals 27.8 rounded to the nearest tenth. Now, reality check, both A and B should have been less than 30 because 30 is the hypotenuse, so it should always be the longest side. And it did work out that both A and B were less than 30, so that makes sense. Also, B should be less than A because it is across from the smallest angle of the triangle. If this angle is 90 and this is 22, then our last angle would be 68 degrees. So the smallest side should be B. The medium side should be A.